In this video we're going to be looking at creating a Google Earth map to uh, put the either the boundary or the yield data onto just so it shows a bit of perspective as to where the field is. We can check the boundaries and making sure that they're okay and uh, doing doing little tricks like that that makes it a lot easier for you to work. So the first thing that we do is uh, select our field and we can either select boundary or the grain harvest from which we create the uh, create the Google image. Um, we'll, we'll select grain harvest in this instance just because it's a little bit more interesting. So we then click create new map and then from the file menu at the top we click download imagery from internet and from there we select the particular grower that uh, that we need and uh, then OK we have three options for sources we keep it, keep it at source 1 then click OK and we have a number of options here you can try them all out the one that I tend to use more regularly than not is uh, clip by field and expand clip area by 10% because it just gives a little bit of runoff room around the outside of the boundary so it's easier for you to see where your boundary edge is not driven by the map but um, what uh, what the Google image is, is telling you so it is easier to alter that's the way that I do it but please feel free to have a have a play and choose one that you want then we click next so this is where we choose the uh, the farm and uh, and the field so we click uh, farm in the field as per per use um, add to add to management hierarchy which is what we uh, what we want then we select the year as uh, as no year then select operational instance you can either um, add a new one or click clip it to instance one and uh, to add a new one all you do is just uh, operational instance is just type in Google map I've already got Google Maps so what I'll do is I'll just call it Google Map 1 so you can see what it is and uh, Google Map 1 and we'll show you in a second I'll show you in a second where that actually appears so we know it's an image operational instance is a Google Map and it's no products so then we click accept and it'll go to the internet you have to be on the internet when you do this you can't um, do it without being on because it literally goes onto the net to uh, to find the the map and what we have here is we've got no year and uh, that's where we put our boundary you can see under no product we've got Google map one and the idea of that is that uh, it, it helps identify if you have more images or anything else exactly which one it is so we select the Google map click create new map that'll appear in the the main display window then you can click the grain harvest from the year that you want to have a look at or the boundary whichever one you choose click add to current map and uh, you'll see that it actually fits into the field quite nicely and uh, what you can do is use a transparency slider here to um, blend the map over and above the Google uh, the Google image just to see what the boundaries are like and, and how you've done it and if you if you select the boundary then equally we can click add to current map so the boundary is the one that appears on top and uh, just to make sure that you've got the uh, the map showing and you can just see here where you've got some yellow of the grain harvest if we look on our index uh, on our op layer options here we've got to check against them all if we unclick grain harvest you can see that the grain harvest map has gone and again by using the slider you'll be able to have a look at the uh, at the map so that's how you can um, put a map on the uh, or your boundary or your grain harvest on a Google Earth map and, and analyze it from there to edit the boundary on this one you'll need to go and have a look at a uh, another of the tutorials but this is uh, the way in which you bring in a Google Earth map